Okay, training with dogs in the room. First, side step. So we're just going to hand, hands in front, a little suspension in the knees, and side with a tap. One, two, like this. You're barely putting any weight on this foot as you come in. Check in on the abs, bracing them. Make sure your head's not pulled forwards too much. <coughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Butt kicks. Back, heel, towards butt. You don't have to turn, that's just me. Pause. Knees soft again. Curl. Thumbs towards you at this point. Up, down, down. One, two, three, four. From here, down and thumbs together. Squeeze back, together. Shoulder blades are gonna come together like that. So squeezing, no dobby, back and together. Two more. Two, back to side step. So sinking a little bit lower than before. Boom, a bit wider as well this time. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. This time you're going to turn your foot. So this foot's going to turn with the knee and the hip. Let me come back. And as you do it, push your arms out. Back in. It can be a little bit lower if you start to feel the shoulder too much. Make sure you turn those feet and the hip. That way you're going to protect your knee. One, kicks now, so from the side looks like this. Get your pelvis in line, belt line horizontal, chin in, brace as usual. You're gonna tap the opposite knee or further down if you like, but try and keep mostly upright, pulling the toe towards you as you do it. It's gonna be a bit of a stretch. If it's too much, slow it down. Don't kick as high. Feel the rubber bands that are the hamstrings in the back. Five. Four, three, two, one. Light reverse lunge. So we're going to lean forwards here, keeping one leg forwards all the time. As that, that's where the weight goes. Arms come out, tap the foot at the back, back in. Keep at the angle of the upper body, just slightly forwards. As I'm looking down, looking down at my toes. That's where my eye line is. I don't want to be swaying backwards like this. You want to keep that weight directly down. Four, three, two, one. Good, and up. What we can do now is go down to the floor. We're going to our basic bird dog. Brace those abs, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Easy peasy. Keep it controlled. You're going straight ahead with your arms, straight back with your legs, and you're looking to get it so that you're in a, approximately a straight line with both. It's okay if you're slightly higher with one side. Just watch out for when the hip starts to twist like this. You want to keep it low. So even if you're aiming slightly down, it might be better for your spine. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, we're gonna turn over to the dead bug. So brace your abs here, knees are up, arms are up. Keep one knee always to the ceiling here. And do opposite side. One hand always straight up, one knee always straight up. Five, four, three, two, one, and switch. Let's practice the uh, bird dog again. Brace, straight ahead with the hands. Try to make sure your head doesn't fall forward here, so you pull your chin in and you stare right between your hands. Like you're reading a book intently. 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and flip back over again to the dead bone once more. Opposite sides. Keep the eye and mental eye on your abs as you do this. So the back isn't moving up and down as you go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, back up. Okay, no weight cleans, so knees soft. Imagine you're picking up a weight here, reach up. At the hip, little pivot. It's the hip hinge we're going for, that back and forth with the knees staying soft, maybe 20, 30% in the deal here. Down, up, same arm. Try to stay directly down the middle, that's hard to judge. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch arm there, up. Don't have to have a fist, you can have it pointed up if you like. Three, two, and one. I'm going to go back to the twist, but this time I'm going to stay down. We're not going to lock out the legs here. So stay at this level the entire time. Twist and punch. And your feet can start 2 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Or stick it out a little bit to the sides. Staying low. Twist. Very important here. So you turn that knee. Back knee is coming with you. Whichever, wherever you're facing, that knee should be. And punch. Punch. Stay at the same level. 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And up. Hands on the head. Opposite elbow towards the knee. Doesn't have to touch the knee. Little swish. Trying to get here. These are the twisting muscles in the abs, the obliques. Working on those and a bit of balance at the same time. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Arms in front. Squeeze shoulder blades. Just do a nice simple squat. So you're trying to get as much knee as hip here. Imagine sitting on an invisible chair behind you. That way the weight's mostly on the heels of the midfoot. You don't want to be on the toes. Push the knees too far. That way you'll know because your heel will come up. Sit down in that chair arms act like a counterweight so the further the arms go out the easier it is to get the hips backwards four one two three four and stop there for a second side lean friction down there four three two and one, back to the beginning, hands on the head. Dobby, five, four, three, two, one. Feet a little bit wider this time. Keep the knees in line with the second toe so you don't want them bowing in. You want to push them out slightly as you push out a little bit quicker. 11, 10, squeeze those shoulders back, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sidestep. I'm going to turn this into the curtsy in a second. So just get the familiar pattern down. Across, tap. And we're going to start tapping the knee, opposite side now. I'm going to bring the foot behind the one that you're not tapping, that is. And then add a little bit of down. The curtsy. Just a tight lunge. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Going back to our punches, so sink. Very wide feet, twist, twist. Make sure you don't come back up in this one. If it gets difficult, yes. But if your knees are okay and you can handle it, stay low. 
three, two, and one. Good. Arms are going to be thumbs up here. Brace the abs. Pivot from the hip. That's how it looks from the front. You're going to keep the arms straight. Just push as high as you can. Halfway down. Squeeze back. Down. Check in on the abs. Make sure they're locked in. Place them bracing there. You might start to feel it in the quads, glutes. Try to get the abs in there. And when you reach up, shoulders too. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right. Feet narrow. Feet touching or almost touching. Could be slightly narrower than shoulder width. That's okay too. Push down. Push up. I want you to add in the heel raise now. So as you come up, lift those heels down. Heels up, heels down. 10, just like that. Nine, don't worry about the lowering, just do it controlled. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, knees are still soft there. Back to your Y. Straight up for 10, one, halfway down only. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Next thing, down to the ground. This time we're going to push-ups. So from here, previous bird dog position, you're gonna walk your hands forwards a little bit. Brace the abs again, and just gonna bend the elbows pointing Slightly backwards, maybe four o'clock and eight o'clock, and halfway down, then lock out as you come back up. Down, lock. As before, make sure your head doesn't fall forward, so tuck your chin in. Keep looking down, you don't want to be looking forwards, putting the strain on the neck. Go to the five, lock out one, two, three. Four and five. Good. Turning over for one set of abs. I'm just going to keep it to one set of push ups today. So, on this one, keep your feet down, your hips down, lock the abs again. Hands on your head, or any, if you have any injuries, you can put it across here, but it will put more tension on the neck. So, I recommend at least one hand on the head. From here, I want you to aim your shoulders towards the ceiling. So, right up. You're not going to get as high as a normal crunch to here. I want you to focus on the height. Not this way, this way. Up and down, you feel it shaking and juddering on the way down. Six, one. Nice and slow on the way down. Two, three, four, five, and six. Feel that. Yeah. Leave that there. All right. Turning over to the hip flexor stretch here, just a quick, you want to get this muscle here, right at the top of the, the uh, thigh, bring the other foot up, lock the glutes, you want to tense there, brace here, and just ease forward, staying upright. You might feel this all the way up the quad, or just the top, hopefully. This hip shouldn't go backwards, you want to keep it forwards, so it's square on. And if you feel pressure on the knee, just put a cushion under there. And switch. Lock the glute. Nice and upright. Ease forward. Three, two, one. And back up. All right. Butt kicks again. Easing down now. Chase your tail like Dobby. Four. Three, two, one. Focus on the side step, nice and easy still. Leisurely. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to the center, side lean, just a little one. You're not trying to get low here, just trying to stretch out a little bit. Try to aim for turning about this point. You don't be turned too low. Seems weird, I know. Three, two, 
one, and from here, three of them, squeeze them back again, shoulders back, turn the thumb back as far as you can, one, two, and three, good, and arms are going to be up to the ceiling, big breath in, hold the height, as your arms come down, the tension leaves you, hopefully, up, squeeze the shoulders back, one more of these, lift the toes up, resetting the posture. Next time.